All right, what we have here is a Fender uh, GA43S um, natural guitar. Let me get a little bit more light on it. There we go. Um, you can see that it is very beautiful. Um, I don't know. There's one little tiny, I don't know if you can see it, little tiny ding. Right, oh, got it, right there. And a little tiny one right there. But you almost have to have the light falling on them just right to see them. And then there's a little tiny ding right there. Come on, zoom in. There we go. Um, anyway, but other than that, I mean, this is a gorgeous guitar. It's got uh, tortoise shell binding. You know, it's got a little tiny bit of little pick scratches here, but um, you know, this pretty, I don't know if that's abalone or mother of pearl, but real pretty stuff there. Um, the action is very low, as you can see. Um, the, uh, you know, it's almost 20 years old, something like that. So uh, there's a, you know, small amount of belly bulge, which is normal for an older guitar. And so uh, I filed down and compensated the saddle in order to make it uh, keep the strings good so that the intonation is almost perfect at the 12th fret, uh, according to this thing, um, which gets pretty close within like three or five, um, what do you call them? Uh, I don't know, three or five of those little tiny marks. Um, but anyway, I'm going to play it for you. Oh yeah, here's the back. Bonk. That was just on that padded thing there, and it did not <laughs> damage the guitar. Um, so here's the back. I think it's solid mahogany, but I am not sure. Don't hold me to that. Um, this was made in Korea. It's got Grover tuners. Anyway, um, probably a little bit of very light buckle rash or whatever in the back, or just scratches from cloth. But it, I mean, it's pretty amazing, glossy. Um, so. And there's also tortoise shell right there. I'm going to play just a little bit. Um, just go up the string so you can kind of, you know, hear what it sounds like. Um, just want to show that there's not any dead spots. There's a tiny, tiny bit of buzz right on that fret if you don't hold it quite right. Well, maybe not. Maybe it just depends on how hard you pluck. Serious sustain. Serious sustain.